Welcome to the seventh match of the HFRE properties present ADCL Super 89.0 between Dragons and Panthers. Dragons have won the toss and have decided to ball first, which seems correct because they won the last weekend match while chasing. And I think they would uh, like to duplicate the same mantra, which is uh, uh, it's a good strategy. Um, Hassan Rajput and uh, Abu Bakr Asam but will open from Panthers. Panthers are under severe pressure. If they lose even one of these two remaining games, they are surely out. There are five teams. One of them will be out. The rest of the four will play qualifiers and eliminate in between them. The HFRE properties present ADCL Super 8 9.0 at the beautiful venue of uh, Amrit's Palace. Amir Hamza will start off the proceedings and Butt will be the keeper. Hasan Rajput facing and uh, let's see if a new Panthers have come today. If yes, then it will be a very hot contest indeed. Amir Hamza coming from the road and from over the wicket. And a quick single taken. Abu Bakr Azam but very critical and uh, very lucky to get away with it. Had it been a direct throw, it might have been curtains for Hassan Rajput. Abu Bakr Azam but. Panthers need him today. Amir Hamza running in, charging in, and uh, well bowled, well bowled, dot ball. Amir Hamza bowled extremely well in his uh, first match against uh, Fox. Running in, charging in from over the wicket. That's a no ball. The ball pitching outside the pitch, and uh, I would say that I have to eat my words uh, for that. That is the thing which Amir Hamza needs to master as he's progressing with his age and career in ADCL. The control over line length. So this will be. This won't be a free hit. The free hit will uh, be applicable. Sorry, this will be a free hit, but this will not be a repeated ball. The HFRE properties replay. The ball pitching outside the pitch, which means no ball. So a free hit. Abu Bakr but has now the license to thrill. Amir Hamza running in. That's a good ball, short pitched up the chest level and did not give room to Rubakar Azambat who likes to have a room to excellent uh, effort by Amir Hamza. And again Amir Hamza, that's a dot ball. Uh, I must say that I feel that Amir, Amir Hamza is getting the best of uh, Hassan Rajput here, Hassan Rajput clearly uncomfortable and he's been hit and uh, maybe a bit uncomfortable. Such instances uh, do disturb the batsman at the HFRE properties replay. The ball hits him slightly below the crouch area and that's uh, very lucky to get away with it. Amir Hamza is a very pacey baller. <coughs> Amir Hamza charging in. With his tail up. Oh God, 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 he's gone. Magnificently bowled by Amir Hamza. And uh, you miss I hit philosophy here. And this is the exact start what uh, Dragons were hoping for. The HFRE hyped ball. Clean ball. That's the view a bowler loves to see. So at the end of the first over, it is negative one for one. Surely that is not the start what uh, Panthers were hoping for. They are since the first game till now completely pushed back. HFRE properties replay. Second ball. So one hits him. The second one he plays all over it. 
prospected hit and the big gap between bat and bat. Milstone gone. And uh, that is excellent stuff from Amir Hamza. Imtiaz Afridi will now ball from the road end. The next batsman in is Rizwan Rashid. Rizwan Rashid is a replacement of Amun Khan. Either there is a genuine reason for a player's departure or the player exhibits a lack of discipline and poor sportsmanship and teammate uh, quality. A player cannot be changed. <coughs> the other player coming in from the road end and uh, the ball stays low. Bakarazan cautiously takes a single. Now it is one Rashid will play his first ball of the HFRE properties ADCL Super 8 9. Match between Panthers and Dragons. Panthers batting. They have lost both their matches previous weekend. Dragons played one match and won that match against Hawks prolifically. Excellent partnership between Zan Bhatt and Farhan Khalichima. And they would love to continue this uh, form. They have decided to ball first so they are expecting to chase. Slightly leggish and a single taken. Both these deliveries from line perspective have been leggish deliveries. Mkhaga Kuni needs to check that. Uh, otherwise, uh, can be smacked towards a square leg or can result in a wide ball. Abu Bakar Azam, but leg side, and that's wide and uh, by taken. That's exactly what I was uh, predicting. First two balls uh, were leckish and uh, I think he, the baller did not notice and perhaps the keeper also did not notice. Six runs already from three deliveries. That should be another wide. So Imtiaz Afridi is struggling with his line here. The length is not the problem but the line is for sure. That's a cut towards a third man in Gully and uh, that's a single taken. Ten runs of this over so far. So after disastrous uh, first over where it was neg negative one. Comes forward and wham what a six over long on. Completely under control and Imtiaz Afridi, what a HF, what a superb HFRE hype hit. Smack for six, that's what you call power. Excellent stuff, excellent indeed. Score now is uh, 14 for 1. Zwebali, the captain, comes in. Interesting move. Power play is now finished. The first power play is over number 1 and 2. 5 overs will be bowled from the road end. And then the side will change. The next 5 overs will be bowled from the beach end. Zwebali and it's one sheet and that's high and handsome over the side screen and it's gone for six Rizwan Rashid announces his entrance the HFRE hype shot free flowing it did pick height but it had power and Rizwan Rashid enjoying the view here that's a massive six that is a brilliant way to announce your entry in a super eight and perhaps this is what uh, Panthers really wanted a fresh perspective and that uh, Rizwan Rashid is providing. Driven towards extra cover should be a single. Seven runs immediately coming from two deliveries. <coughs> Tried to play it but uh, no bounce so kept it uh, Lower 
that the Lord reject we in Bakr Azim except for that six. But what a remarkable six that was. Zuhayb not giving much room, slightly faster delivery, another single taken. But nine runs already conceded. So after disastrous first over, I would say that uh, Panthers are recovering quite well. It's 23 to 1 in 2.4 overs. The keeper indicating Zan to do a loopy ball, slightly loopy, and lots and lots of times smacked over long off. And uh, the plan perhaps didn't work. I must say this delivery was neither loopy nor fast on the HFRE hype shot. Lots and lots of time. Look at Azam and look at his power, the power he is injected into that shot. That is a huge six over long off. And Zuhayb uh, a bit uh, flabbergasted there. I think uh, he was in two minds. 15 runs off this over. So suddenly, in run rate has gone up to nearly <coughs> 10 and over. Punches it towards a uh, short cover and takes a single of Bakar Azim, but at the end of the day, that is a good over for Panthers. It's 3 over 30 for 1. Ismail Hassan Siddiqui, the right arm leg spinner, comes in for his first over. Bakarazam lots and lots of time and that's gone for four running towards extra cover and Bakarazam has uh, snatched another boundary that's a poor delivery given too much time very much short run it's kind of a faster ball and the pace is something which Bakarazam really enjoys the HFRE class in high hip towards four so another good start for Panthers can't believe that um, at the end of the first over it was negative one for one and they've, they've climbed up that hole so quickly. Loopy delivery. And flying away over square leg. That's a sixth remarkable shot indeed. Too much time once again from Ismail. The HFRE hype shot. Look at that. Too much time. It was a good lean. Too much deviation towards the leg side and smacked on a square leg for six. That's a big one. Ten runs. Bukhar Azam running towards his 28. And, uh, Bukhar trying to get a single but uh, good feeling by the fielder. He doesn't like dot balls. Faster one again and smacked over the side screen for six. Magnificent stuff from Abu Bakr and has completed his 28 runs. And my what an innings he has played. The HFRE hype shot gone for six. Look at the power and elevation. And uh, Ismail Hassan, 16 runs from four deliveries. What a batting uh, exhibition by Abu Bakr Azam. But Babar Amanat walks in. Low in confidence, but uh, let's see. It's my lesson. Loop delivery and appeal for an LPU should be out, and he is out when he walks back. Babar Azam completely bamboozled by that googly, and uh, if nothing else, good trajectory and uh, surely, surely smashing into the at least the leg side wicket Asif Ali or fondly known as Asif Tiger walks in that was surely the HFRE hype ball by Ismail so 16 runs conceded that's the delivery the HFRE hype ball loopy stylish and good spin definitely smashing towards leg and uh, the bowler and the keeper excited about that and this is a crucial uh, part of play for uh, Panthers 
they are still not in a bad position it's 40 for 2 still one ball left but they need Asif to click here if they want to achieve a good total low bounce extremely low bounce and single taken by Asif so at the end of the fourth over it is 40 41 mind you 41 for 2 after 4 overs over number 5 for Han Niazi the next spinner comes in extremely experienced coming from the road end and over the wicket Asif and uh, punches it towards cover and runs fast but it will be a single cautious delivery and cautiously played the trick here for any bowler who, st who starts his uh, spell should be to start uh, with uh, a good line and length and then try to experiment he wants to Iswan Rashid now facing Rupi delivery again and uh, driven towards uh, long on and the single taken a good two deliveries for Han Niazi calling to Asif and boom how unlucky that is inside edge and Zen but extremely happy and for, him, for Han doing the job what the captain required and in cricketing sense he's clean bold inside edge and off to the stumps that the HFRE high ball I think the lack of pace and even the line by Farhan got the best of uh, Asif and that's a uh, the wicket which Dragons really wanted it's 37 for 3 will this be a down slide or will it be downhill for Panthers Irfan Hussain makes his debut for ADCL it's his first game a welcome induction in ADCL extremely talented all-rounder one of the best in Abu Dhabi circle very much experienced a cool and calm customer when it comes to absorbing pressure makes his debut in Super 8 HFRE property super and loopy delivery and smacked for four over square like that's a poor delivery Fran is not happy but uh, I must say the delivery itself was not uh, a good one lots and lots of time way towards leg side and Fran Hussain what a debut for him in Super 8 as well as in ADCL the HFRE properties present ADCL Super 8 9 at the venue of Amherst Palace in Abu Dhabi Match between match number seven between Panthers were batting and Dragons. Ranjati coming from round the wicket, and that's a big hit going, going, and gone over long off. And that's a six. Ifan Hussain, what a start! First to four towards the square leg. That's an HFRE hype shot indeed. And whack, too much time, too much time for Han Niazi. And Ifan Hussain takes the maximum advantage of it. The six, a big one. Excellent stuff. Palhan Nazi coming back over the wicket now. Good leg spin. The Farno Sand perhaps feel that he could have gotten more than a single, but overall seven runs from this over. So in a sense good for dragons. Five overs, 48 for three. Now that is the end of the first half. The second five overs part will start from the beach end. Over number six and seven will be power play. The HFRE properties at DCL Super 8 9 match between Panthers and Dragons. Panthers batting. They have been invited to bat first after losing the toss from Dragons. Amir Hamza starts off. And what a start at Farnus and gave basically to his team a four and a six. Amir Hamza coming in with pace from over the wicket and that's gone, that's gone, edge and that's gone and pace has uh, out uh, mastered the master himself with far sand, thick edge and Zanba doing a magnificent job there safe pair of hands indeed HFRE hype ball by Amir Hamza and HFRE properties safe pair of hands Zanba that is not what was required Next batsman in, Amir Zaman Khan. Interesting choice. 
Now this is the problem what Panthers have faced in the first weekend as well. They start off well and suddenly they lose the plot. Each and every batsman who gone back uh, to the pavilion had a good start except for Babar. Ahmed Zaman Khan. And as towards third man should be a two. Rizwan seems interested. Ahmed Zaman seems interested. Calling him back and that's uh, a good two. Ahmed not the very fastest and comfortable of uh, the players. So good start of the power play over by Dragons. And uh, Amir had absolutely no idea the ball flies uh, towards short uh, mid wicket and a single taken. Dragons seem to be in control now slowly. Amir Hamza coming in. Rizwan Rashid driven towards uh, extra cover. Should be a single. So good over from Dragon's perspective and uh, struggling one for Panthers, they need a good total, Dragons are a good team. Ahmed Zaman Khan, And that's Matt over third match, running for four and that is a four, a bit unlucky but uh, Amir Hamza did give a lot of width and whack. Amir Zaman Khan is a powerful hitter, the HFRE classic height hit by Amir Zaman. And gone for four, a welcome four. Last ball. Will uh, Amir Hamza produce something magical here? He's done quite well. Two runs of this over so far. Another good delivery and a single. So overall three runs only and a power play over. So I must commend Amir Hamza on an excellent effort. Next over is another power play over and let's see who the captain chooses. Signaling to Amir Hamza to go back to the position and uh, I feel that Ismail Hassan Siddiqui is coming in and yes he is Ahmed Zaman will be facing him I think it's a good opportunity for uh, Ismail after Bakar Azam he is a bit comfortable there Bakar Azam got the best of, out of uh, Ismail and uh, smashed uh, him here and there but uh, lucky for Ismail that uh, Bakar had to retire Ismail, slightly loopy delivery, should be two, running in, fine third man position and Rizwan again very interested to take a double and he takes one. I'll tell you something, if it had been a direct hit, it would have been curtains for Amir, but the throw has been quite poor as well. Ismail Hassan. Good delivery towards deep mid wicket. There's protection there, should be a single. So far, a good over. Three downs from two deliveries. Mind you, it's a power play. That should be a dot ball. So, an excellent over so far. Three runs from three deliveries. Flaster one. Cut towards fine third man and uh, two runs is the call and uh, Rizwan takes two runs easily. I think the faster one is not uh, beneficial for uh, Ismail. Quite predictable. He should be considering to focus more on those loopy deliveries uh, which, uh, in which he is getting spin. That's a loopy delivery. And the ball running up and Imtiaz Afridi ended it. That's gone. 
Ismail Hassan Siddiqui taking a wicket and then uh, friendly asking Rizwan Rashid to go back to the dugout and that's the end of Rizwan Rashid uh, innings that was there to hit but uh, I think it got more elevation the body was away and the weight distribution was not perfect and Ismail finally takes one for, caught by Imtiaz Afridi at long on the captain of the comes in comes in bit of risky move but uh, that's what the captains uh, like to do lead from the front last ball can Ismail produce another one here and that two of the Panthers captain Abdul Qayyum and uh, smashes it towards uh, long on Imtiaz Afridi there and uh, only a single and that's the end of uh, Ismail's over good over by solid over by Ismail done quite well Zohar Ali the captain comes in So it's captain versus captain. Should be an interesting contest. And that's uh, a single by Abdul Payoon. Abdul Payoon does have a capability of hitting it out of the park. Amir Zaman Khan so far has uh, been a bit quiet. Should be a single deflex of Zahir's uh, hand. Zahir. Hit towards uh, Long off. So quite over so far. It's 54 for 5. So Dragons would feel confident that the total is in control. That's high up in the air will fall just uh, in the middle of long off. And uh, the baller. Very lucky to get away with it, um, Amir Zaman Khan. The fifth delivery, loopy and completely missed. Zuhayev, rolling quite well. Four runs of this over so far. So, Dragons would feel they are completely in control. Loopy delivery and that's a big hit towards mid-wicket. Gone for six. The captain versus captain. And uh, Abdul Qayyum smashes this for six. The background, we can see the HFRE properties boards. Loopy delivery and that was there to be hit and Abdul Qayyum getting the maximum out of it. The HFRE hype shot indeed. Getting a 6. So 10 runs coming up this over. So remaining 2 overs left. Remains to be seen will do that. Farhan Niazi has been indicated. Farhan coming from over the wicket. Loop delivery and uh, should be one. Nice single taken. Farhan second delivery. And uh, running away and uh, what a hit, straight hit towards the side screen, the captain smiling there, hitting a ground shot with good power and position, what a hit, the HFRE classic hit and look at that, straight as an arrow and I think the long off and long on hesitated there, thinking that one of them will get it, but 
I mean, I think it should have been cut off by Imtiaz. If the long off person can come towards the long on side, surely Imtiaz should have done it. That uh, is the legacy delivery. Could not dispatch it. Uh, but for Ramani Haji, for a moment, was interested for an LB. So, dot ball. That's a uh, hit towards uh, mid wicket, but uh, single taken. Six runs from four deliveries, so not a bad over so far from Farhan, even after being dispatched for a four. Completely missed, way. very unlucky Farhan, and very lucky Amir Zaman Khan to get away with it. So Farhan Niazi coming back strong there after conceding a four. A dot ball, a single, and another dot ball. Six runs so far. Mind you, this is the ninth over, and the batsman will definitely go after you. So anything under double figures is max. Oh, that's a good ball. Falls in the no man's land. A single taken. Seven runs of this over. Excellent stuff by Farhan Niazi. Dragons uh, would feel that uh, Panthers are really contained there. 68 is not a big score, and only six balls left. Imtiaz Afridi coming from over the wicket and uh, hit towards mid wicket and uh, Amir Zaman running quick but uh, this will only be a single. The captain and getting to him that he would like to have a hit. Uh, I'll tell you what, uh, Amir Tayyum fancies fast bowlers more than spinners so I think this will be a good contest. The captain Amir Tayyum now facing Imtiaz Afridi from over the wicket and that's a big hit over extra cover and that is a huge hit what a class by the captain score goes up what a hit look at that the hfre high hit over extra cover and gone picks up the elevation the power right right up the block hole but abul kayum was absolutely ready for that hit well done so suddenly seven runs from two deliveries in charge of the running in and uh, played a miss. Now that is the delivery which uh, Imtiaz should be focusing more on. Running in for the fourth one. And uh, straight again but uh, not much speed in the head so a single taken. Eight runs from four deliveries, 76. So if they touch 80 or if the target goes to 80, the required run rate will be 8 which I think is quite gettable. Should be two running uh, to an extra cover. There is no fielder. The captain interested. Arm is Amar. Running back. It's not going to be a boundary. The outfield is slightly slow because of trimmed but still thick grass. The last ball of the first innings. And uh, single taken. And the target here will be 80 runs. And uh, it remains to be seen how Dragons would fare. They will be quite happy with this total. They would feel that they can chase it. Panthers first, in first innings. Match number 7. The FHRE properties present ADCL Super at 9. The E-Magazine coming soon. Usman Asad the baller there. Panthers in a huddle now. Dragons uh, will begin their chase. Uh, this is the problem. I think now in previously in the previous games, uh, these they were struggling. Panthers whom to start the innings with. Now they have a choice in Irfan Hussain. So let's see if they can start off with a different strategy here mind you the target is not that much it's 80 so they do need a good if nothing else economical first over it's a do and die for ma match for them if they lose this one the probability of them being expunged from the tournament will shoot way up Walk 
Shahar Suhail and Imran Sharif will start the opening from uh, Dragons. That's uh, a bit of unorthodox uh, approach by Dragons, but I think that shows that they're comfortable that they can chase down this 80. They would feel that they've done it with the uh, Zan, but coming in later and Farhan Khalid Chima coming in later who were, were, were the heroes of last uh, weekend against Hawks and if Vakar Suhail gets going he is a dangerous batsman he can take away the game from the opponent just like that 28 runs for him would be matter of few balls only Farhan Hussain coming from the road end at his debut ball debut over from ADCL punch towards a point and uh, should be a single single taken the car fell off the mark Imran Sharif is quite orthodox so I think the plan here should be if it's not that Imran Sharif will rotate the strike and the uh, car Suhail should be the muscle of this uh, opening now Irfan Sam coming in and uh, Hits him. That's select by the bowler inquiring from Irfan. Ir Imran. Irfan pitching it short and it hits the helmet. And Irfan showing his uh, generosity and graciousness. Uh, inquiring about Imran's health. Vakar Suhail. That's a good low full toss. Single taken again. Three runs from three deliveries. Again, Dragons would feel comfortable with the singles and doubles because the required run rate is 8. Had it been more than 10, then yes, would have been some issues to Farno Sen. And uh, played and a miss, dot ball. Each and every dot ball, though, will definitely benefit Panthers and make uh, life a bit difficult for Dragons. Ifan Hussain, ball number 5 that's played, yes and no and uh, that's a dot ball again so two precious dot balls one ball to go and played towards uh, square leg and a single taken so four runs of the first over a good over from uh, Ifan Hussain And again, as Panthers have been unpredictable, Asif Tiger will ball now. I personally feel that's not a good move. At the end of the day, he is a part-time baller and you don't want to rely on the part-time baller at, in a power play. That's a white ball. Immediately gives three runs to the opponents. And uh, seven for no loss. They need tight overs, Panthers need tight overs, they need wickets. Smacked and uh, should be a single towards uh, extra cover. Good fielding by the fielder though. But a single comfortable taken by Imran Sharif. Asif. And uh, very strongly hit towards uh, deep point. Should be two. And two runs taken. So after a wide ball, a single taken by Imran and a double taken by Waqar. Six runs from three deliveries. And uh, that's a bit of uh, loose delivery, should be single. Sharif uh, taking a single again. Eight runs from five deliveries so far. So very comfortable over for Dragons. And this is what I've been mentioning. There has to be a challenge presented to the Dragons by Panthers. Otherwise, this, this, this can become a very easy chase for Dragons. That's a wide ball and that's a poor over, I must say. Eleven runs coming off this over. And after such an economical over, Osama Purvez will now start, experienced, the best bowler of uh, 
Super 8 7 was magnificent there with his uh, cutters and uh, slow deliveries. Can he bring back that magic? Hmm. That's a good ball, single taken. Slightly loopy, but I feel touch too much time. Panthers need wickets. Panthers need wickets. If they want to win this match, they need wickets. They need to do something challenging. They need to put some, instigate some sort of panic. That's a good hit over extra cover. Will not go for four. Good fielding. Single. Good backup to sum up ways. Doing well. It's the circle overs are finished. There's no power play now. Good delivery and uh, tapped and uh, very good single. So three runs from three deliveries. Some of the ways come over the end. Faster one and a good delivery. That's the delivery. Keeper quite excited about that. Good cutter. Accurate. Good line. Good line. Three runs from four deliveries. Some of the ways over the wicket. Slightly loopy. Again, gives them a lot of time, a single taken towards a point region, single taken. Last ball, Imran Sharif. I feel like he's a bit tired there. Some of the ways. Tap set, gone for single, Vakas will and should be, and that's gone, that is gone, that is a run out, that's the wicket what uh, Panthers were hoping for, and uh, Vakas will not happy there, but I must say that at the end of the day, he was at the danger end, and uh, that is out, that's the welcome wicket for Panthers, they, any wicket in Super 8 is welcome. Panthers now quite excited there. Look at that. And short of his crease. Comfortably run out. Bakarazan doing a magnificent job there. It was one Rashid that was the thrower. So I must command that uh, throw as well. The HFRE saved pair of hands by Zan Bhatt, But equally quick thinking by this one Rashid as well. The captain. Abdul Tayyum now comes in and the batsman is Farhan Khalichima who has been a phenomenal in the previous weekend against Hawks can history repeat itself I think Dragons would still be a bit comfortable not panicking but uh, still I think a lot will ride on this over chance for an LB too much drifting towards leg side that's a dot ball Manjeev and smacking it towards extra cover ball running away should be two Farfalik Chima up for it. Uh, Imran Sharif a bit hesitant once again. Don't know why. But still at the end, comfortable two. The captain could not collect the ball. Not happy with the throw though. Abdul Kayum running in from over the wicket. That's a wide ball. So five runs from three deliveries, struggling a bit. And that's hit towards a deep square leg, should be a single. A 
Fazil Qayyum. Then again, from over the wicket, and edged, and uh, keeper does well there. Single. Imran Sharif, a bit quiet uh, innings from him. One of these two gentlemen at the crease of batsman should. That's a big hit. And that's a magnificent hit. Gone for six of a long haul. What a hit. You didn't see it with Bowen. That's surely the HFRE hype shot. Look at that. Class. Sailing, sailing, sailing and gone. That's a six. 13 runs from this over and at the end of the fourth over it is 26 for 1 the required run rate is 8 the current run rate is 6 point something so not very far away from what is required to stand up away is coming from down the wicket Played and a miss, that's a good spin. Let's see the replay here. And the Palmer feels that it would have been curtains for uh, Faran. Oh, 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 oh. Unlucky for Osama, but it was a difficult chance, I must say. Good delivery and uh, running towards a deep square leg and uh, should be comfortable too. Some of the ways, coming from around the wicket, cutting in, bad ball, punished, gone for four, immediately dispatched, that's not the delivery you should be bowling, that's a poor delivery, too loopy and too much time, the HFRI classic high hit by Farhan Khalid Chima, dispatching it for four, well done. To run it climbing up now again for dragons. What they are trying to do is that they are trying to go ahead of the wave. And that's a hit and that's a magnificent hit over mid wicket and that should be a single good fielding by the fielder. But I would I love the confidence by which with which uh, Farhan played that shot. In control and uh, good form. Farhan Sharif. Single Last ball Eight runs off it so far So Dragons would feel that this is a good over Let's see what this does And uh, punch towards Long uh, off Should be a single, a single taken And at the end of the fifth over it's 35 for one and we will switch sides now the bowler will now ball from the beach end hfri properties present adc and super 89 a, a very strange decision i must say as if uh, tiger has been given the task to ball a uh, power play over there pran Chima. Dot ball. Seven is the run rate as of now. So in the next five overs, forty-five runs are required. Single. The required run rate is approximately nine now. Uh, 
Massif doing on. And that's a good chance. Gone, Imran Sharif. Gone, Imran Sharif is gone. Poor running from him and a good throw and equally good uh, pick up by Asif. And for a moment I thought that there would be absolutely no chance. Look at that. And I don't know why Imran is ball watching there. He should be running straight on and good fast throw and equally magnificent pick up by Asif and uh, a timely wicket for Panthers. The required run rate had already gone up. The HFRE safe hands Asif there. HFRE properly is presented. This is Super at 9. Panthers versus Dragons. Panthers defending a total of 79 there. Zan Bud comes in. 50 runs required in 4.3 overs. Dragons have made this task a bit difficult for themselves. Can these two heroes of the first match last weekend against Hawks repeat history? They were under extreme pressure and they did quite well, but a lot will ride on Zanbat. That's a good uh, ball to Zanbat. But uh, Zanbat interested in taking a two, should be two. Two taken. That's a good ball, dot ball, so negative two on this over. 6 over 33 47 runs required now from 4 over suddenly Panthers are starting to dominate and now they have thrown an ace card Amir Zaman Khan Pran Khaled Chima will face the pacer Amir Zaman coming from round the wicket and bad delivery dispatch for 4 Towards the square leg. Farhan Khalid Chima does well. But they need to win this match. They need few more boundaries like that. 43 runs required now. From 23 degrees, it is quite gettable. Amir Zaman Khan. That's a dot ball, a good delivery. Dragons need a double figure over from there. That's a good punch, but the fielder was there. For a moment, Amir felt that Zan was in trouble. Play towards uh, square leg again and uh, should be a single. And a single taker. Three balls, five runs. 42 runs required now. Panthers would start fencing their chances if there's no boundary coming in forward. And uh, ball running away over deep point and two runs taken. Zanbart doing well. Two runs gone. Oh, that's a new strategy by Zan but in the previous game he did not walk forward and uh, maybe he've done some homework I don't know but two runs taken remains to be seen if this strategy will work Zan but and uh, played in a miss uh, good delivery by Amir Zaman Khan very lucky Zan but to get away with it what a ball what a ball! My goodness, that's an amazing one. Zan missed it from waist height and the ball came up to Abu Bakr Azam but the keeper up to his face level. So you, that's definitely a pace delivery. Hail time, hype speed. That's space. That is space. And accuracy definitely. And when you are precise and accurate and pacey, 
then you become a dangerous bowler. Amir Zamar Khan, that's a good delivery and not a wide, surely not a wide. Zan Bhatt has uh, changed his uh, position quite much so the wide ball also moves. 7 over 40 for 2, 40 runs required. The HFRE properties present 87 super 8 9. Dragons trying to chase down a target of 80. They need 40 runs in 3 overs to win. Over number 8 is by Irfan Hussain. I think that's a slightly risky move. If I had been the captain, I would have kept uh, Irfan Hussain for sure for the last over. But let's see. Starts off well. Dot ball. On the other hand, if Irfan does well in this over, the required run rate would creep up a lot. Still 40 runs required in 17 deliveries and hit towards a, a long off should be a single. The target here for Irfan Hussain is definitely an economical over and uh, for sure, if he can get a wicket here, that would really dent the chase. 39 runs still required. This is becoming a steep target and smashed, uh, but there is field at cover and that's a dot ball. One run from three deliveries. Excellent over so far from Irfan Hussain. Well done. Coming from over the wicket, Zan but. I feel he's slightly frustrated. Perhaps uh, the expectation. That's a hit. Should be a catch. And drop the final sand. Absolutely unhappy. That's a poor effort. And look at that. Irfan Sand thought he had his man. And I think Zanbat also thought he stopped there. But uh, look at that. That's poor fielding indeed. Hard luck, single taken. There is there a twist to this tail? Still, should be a single. I still feel that dragons are uh, in trouble. Mm. A lot and lot of runs still left. 37 runs required now in 13 deliveries. It's not going to be easy. The fan sand last delivery. And a dot ball again. Excellent over at fan. Excellent. Three runs of it. And very, very unlucky to get away with the wicket there. She should have gotten the wicket. But it's very unlucky indeed. Amar Zaman Khan, ninth over. This over will definitely define the chase. 37 runs required in 12 deliveries. Amar Zaman Khan, what will be the strategy of Dragons here? Amar Zaman running in. That's a wide ball running away for four. And that is exactly what Dragons wanted. Seven runs comes out. The first delivery and immediately from 37, only 30 runs now required from 11 deliveries. My, my, what an amazing game of Super 8 we are having. Running in again, Amir Zaman. And uh, start from his foot should be a single. Eight runs from two deliveries. 29 runs now required of 10 deliveries. Is there a twist to this saga? Will Panthers finally achieve the victory or will Dragons stage another upset here Amir Zaman that's a dot ball and but struggling a bit from offside the umpire not interested uh, in white ball and I don't think it should be a white ball perhaps Zan is uh, not considering the fact that he has a trigger movement Amir Zaman Khan Eight runs from two deliveries. Can Dragons punch a couple of more? 
and that's a magnificent hit towards midfield. Running him for four, and that's a four. That's an HFRE hype shot. Well done, well done, Dragons. Twelve runs have come off this over already. Zaman, that's uh, the umpire wide signals wide. Fifteen runs from this over so far. That's uh, a single. What it does is that it brings Amir Saman Khan over to an end and uh, spans over from him. Abdul Qayyum, the captain, will now ball the last over. And 19 runs required. Now, captain Abdul Qayyum has the baton in his hand. The onus is on him. Captain leading from the front, coming from over the wicket, Zanbat, and that's a good delivery. 19 runs from 5 deliveries now. Excellent delivery from Abdul Qayyum. And I think uh, these couple of deliveries will define the match. And that's a good jogger delivery. What a magnificent delivery by Abdul Qayyum. Excellent. Single. Single chicken. Eighteen runs required from four deliveries. That's a good uh, delivery. Doesn't give much room or much uh, area to Farhan to hit the ball towards the mid wicket region. Another single. Three balls. Seventeen runs required. Can Van Butt hit three sixes here and uh, not interested dot ball I think he's fancying a ch chance there if there is a wide ball and no ball but uh, I must say if everything goes well Panthers have done well Pefan Hussain for me was the key and uh, this over is turning out to be a magnificent one and that's a dot ball again And this Rahad Rashid there, look at that goal. He feels the matches in the pocket. Finally, Panthers are very close to breaking that uh, zero. And edging closer towards that uh, victory, which they were yearning for. The last ball. And uh, Zan takes a single, and that's the end of the innings. And uh, 64 runs. And Panthers win the match by 15 runs. Well done to Panthers. Congratulations all round. A very thrilling match between uh, Panthers and Dragons. Panthers are uh, really in need of this victory and they've done quite well. Well done to them. Yeah, Panthers, come win! Yeah! yeah. The victory actually comprised of a fantastic inning from Abu Bakr Azam, but the platinum player, well done to him. Yeah. And I believe uh, the captain then uh, chipped in and made a very good 21 as well. And uh, planning itself was a bit risky, especially in the last three overs, but it did very well, especially the last over where the opponents were hoping to repeat the same performance which they did against, against Fox. But well done. Uh, for me, a performance with leadership is always always commendable. I would request the sponsor to present the Man of the Match award to the captain Abdul Kayum. Yay! Yeah! 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 Well played, man. Well played, man. Well played. Yeah, I'm already playing. Yeah! Yes! 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 Yes